What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I got some new news concerning Manny Pacquiao. The icon, the 8th Division champion, has stated in an interview that he would like to take on Vasily Lomachenko. You know, um, Lomachenko did respond, and his response was simple. You know, um, his response was that Manny Pacquiao is an aged fighter. There's no gain in beating him now. That's what his response was. And it makes a lot of sense. You know, um, I haven't heard the rebuttal from Manny Pacquiao, if he even gives any, if he even gave any. But I haven't heard it. It hasn't came across my feeds. But um, I have to agree with him. You know, like, you know, you've already fought a smaller Regan Dow that was aged, that was out of his weight class that you beat decisively, that you may say no mas. What would you gain from fighting Manny Pacquiao at 38, well, 39 years of age? Because he's 39 now. What would you gain? That's 10, 10 years difference. What would you gain from winning a fight with that? And I'm pretty sure he would win. The only, the only advantages I think Manny would have, he would still have speed, but still he would not have in, in power. But defense, no. You know, it, it would be no different from Manny Pacquiao fighting Oscar De La Hoya. But speaking of Manny Pacquiao stopping De La Hoya in the eighth, it would be poetic justice. Why? Because someone had to stop Oscar De La Hoya from fighting. You know, man, De, De La Hoya had to be stopped like that. Mayweather couldn't do it. He fought to a split decision win. I know the weight differences before everyone in it ever starts. Yeah, it was at a catch weight. However, he fought a, a good damn fight with Mayweather. In fact, a lot of people thought he won. So Mayweather couldn't do it. Pacquiao did. Someone had to because if that would have been the case, De La Hoya would have fought way past that if he wouldn't have ever got in the ring with a smaller Manny Pacquiao. So as compared to Lama Chico, Lama Chico's younger, Lama Chico's smaller, Yama, Lama Chico's, I don't know if he's a little quicker, but I think he's quicker now than Pacquiao, you know, being his age he is now. So I wouldn't see any reason for um, the silly Lama Chico to get in there with Manny Pacquiao. And I know Manny Pacquiao, would, you know, he wants to fight the best, you know what I mean? But if that's the case, see, the problem is if you guys, if, you, if you've seen my, my, um, my videos, my past videos on Manny Pacquiao, my concern was, you know, yeah, he did good against Jesse Vargas. You know, um, who else did he fight after... Uh, after Mayweather really he just really fought Bradley and I mean um <laughs> Vargas and Horn but Horn is considered a cherry pick I don't know if he fought that fight because it was just staged like that you know what I mean because of how Bob Arum likes to you know pick guys from his own stable you know and not other fighters that are just as good but um you know Manny Pacquiao wasted a lot of time fighting guys like that you know, Jesse Vargas, I don't think was was, you know, a was a cherry pick. But I mean, he could have fought anyone else. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you could argue yay or nay, you know, and Jeff Horn was definitely considered by the public a cherry pick. You know what I mean? Like no one knew who he was. Then he got a decision in his own town. Now, you know, Jeff Horn's going on to fight guys like Terrence Crawford. So saying all that. Manny Pacquiao has wasted a lot of time fighting guys, you know, and, you know, you only have so many fights left in him, you know, and he misses fighting. But just like Oscar De La Hoya, Manny Pacquiao has, I guess he's, you know, he's hard headed, man. You know, he's going, he said he's, he, he misses boxing. So someone has to go in there and make him stop fighting. You know what I'm saying? So someone had to go in there and make him quit. And, you know, if he continues down the road to pursue a fight with Lama Chico, Lama Chico might do the same thing. But I, I have to take my hat off to Lama Chico. He sees his wisdom as being, 
you know, not a fighter in his prime sees there, there's no real reason to fight Manny Pacquiao. It's just really tarnishing his legacy at that point, you know, because a lot of people would say a lot of Pac-Man fans would say, you know, especially the diehard. Oh, he's fighting the best at the time. And Lama Chico is considered one of the best. You know, yeah, he's one of the best, but he he's not. If you ask Lama Chico, who's the best, he would tell you Crawford. He didn't want none of Crawford. And then speaking of Crawford, Freddie Roach didn't want him to to first of all to rematch Horn or to fight Terrence Crawford. So that should tell you something. You know, if you can, if you guys can think about the movie Rocky, when Mickey told Rocky Balboa, "Hey, don't fight Clubber Lang. He'll knock you in the next week. He's an animal. He's hungry." You know, all these guys I gave you, they were cherry picks. You know, they were hand picked. You know what I mean? And it, it seems like that's what Freddie Roach was doing to Manny Pacquiao because. You know, he definitely told him, don't fight Terrence Crawford, you know, and they had some falling out about that a little bit, you know, but there is a sign when your own trainer tells you not to fight a guy, you know, Freddie Roach is not stupid. All the shit talk that Freddie Roach has said over the past, what Manny Pacquiao can do, you know, he didn't feel that he could get into the ring, you know, now he did make up another uh, reason why all oh, black and Filipino uh, won't do good ticket sales or whatever. But, you know, that's bullshit because the, actually the highest grossing fight was between a black and Filipino, which was Floyd Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. So that was irrelevant. You know what I mean? That's irrelevant from what he was saying. But he knew he knew the real reason he didn't want Terrence Crawford in there with his boy, with Manny Pacquiao. You know what I mean? And I, I wouldn't want to see that because I don't want to see a fighter in his prime fight a guy that's out of his prime. But I do respect a fighter that does want to fight the best. The only problem with Manny Pacquiao, he wasted too many years fighting guys that weren't the best. So he, he had wasted time. I've said it again and again and again. Now, at 39, you feel, oh, I miss boxing, so I want to go in there and take on the best. You know what I mean? It, that's just, it doesn't make sense to me. It's irrelevant. And I hope Vasily Lamachico doesn't take that fight because I am a Manny Pacquiao fan, and I do respect the things that he did do. I wouldn't want him to go in there, you know, to to get beat like he would against Lama Chico. You know what I mean? And, and if you beat Lama Chico, well, well Lama Chico's not a power puncher. You know what I mean? I, would that put you on pound for pound ris uh, list again? I, I guess you could. But why would you risk it? All the things that you've already done for the sport of boxing. You know, so, you know, you should have thought about that two or three years ago, fighting La Machico, you know what I mean? Or a year, at least like last year before you fought Horn, you know, that fight could have easily been put together when people didn't see your skills diminish. But they would have saw it anyway because your skills would have still diminished because uh, of the segment of time. When he, I saw the Horn fight, yes, I feel he beat Horn, but I see that Manny Pacquiao is not the same Manny Pacquiao. If that would have been the same Manny Pacquiao, he would have stopped Horn in the 10th. He couldn't do it. He didn't have the energy. He had missed a step. I saw that. So that's why I don't want him going in there with Vasily Lamachico. That's my take on it. You guys tell me what you think. Give me your remarks, comments below. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace. Please subscribe.